<sighs> man, I just want help, man. Not regular help. Not consistent help. Not daily help. I want better help, which is our sponsor today, all right? It's your online guidance to get exactly what you need. Don't look at me like that, Marvin. We all need better help. I just wanted to help a little bit. <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. You see how better help helps everybody? All right, listen, it's a customized online therapy for you, all right? It's specialized in trauma and depression and family issues and all type of stuff. If, if, if you got anything going on with you, they specialize in everything, all right? BetterHelp is exactly what you need, all right? It's much more affordable than in-person therapy because sometimes by the time you deal with gas and you go to pay for the session, you're going to really need better help after that because you don't, don't want to deal with that. So online therapy it is, all right? And this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, all right? The Comedy Trap House listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Trap House, all right? That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Trap House. Get you some better help. Don't be out there putting all your problems on the wrong people. Put them on the professionals that are ready to help you, all right? Betterhelp.com slash trap, trap house. Get you some. Oh, man. You see this? This is a Tej Henley towel to rub my face, to make sure my skin is clear and ready to go. You know why? Because we use Tej Henley around here. Y'all out here with the cracked face? You don't want the bumpy face. Look over there at that guy. You don't want a face like that. So you need to make sure you tap in with Tej Henley to make sure you guys wash your face, all right? Tej Henley is a skincare company that makes sure us guys out here do what we need to do and make sure we take care of everything, all right? Every box comes with instructions, all right? You get moisturizer, you get the morning, you get the nighttime. You need all of that stuff to make sure you wash well. That's why I use it. Look at this face. Now turn around and look at that face. You don't want you don't want your skin looking like that over there. It's ridiculous. He covering his whole mouth because he's scared. He don't know what's going on. All right, so guys, tap, <laughs> tap, <laughs> tap in with Tish Henley. All right, you get your AM moisturizer and your PM. All right, it's a positive experience. Make sure that you tap in with them. We they are sponsoring our episode today. Offering you a great deal, just go to Tiege.com slash trap. That's T-I-E-G-E dot com slash trap. You'll get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. That's T-I-E-G-E dot com slash trap. Get your face clean. Man, I'm sick of this, man. I just, I'm so stressed, man. I keep getting rings around my tub. People don't be washing after they tub when... <sighs> Man, I just need better help, man. I just need some better help today, all right? Sometimes you got to tell better help about all your problems, all right? You never know what those problems may be, all right? It could be anything. Cereal might be low. Car might be low on gas. It, outside, might the grass might be uh, tall and just, just cutting up your legs. You need better help for your trauma and your therapy, all right? It's online counseling for you. Online therapy to make sure you get what you need today, all right? Because guess Guess what? People don't always realize this, that physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, that's that's a part of stress. And guess what? BetterHelp is going to help you. So our sponsor today, you need to tap in with BetterHelp, all right? <clears throat> that's BetterHelp.com slash Trap House to get 10% off, all right? 10%! You know how much that is? That's 10%. That means there's 90 more percentages out there, but you get 10, you get 10 of them, all right? That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Trap House for your 10% off. Now go get that. Can they help you with math? Shut Welcome up! Welcome to the trap. Get your dad body in the, the back. Welcome, Welcome, Welcome to the trap. Get your dad body in the back. Welcome to the trap. Tripping better than slipping. Welcome to the trap. But sometimes we tripping. Welcome to, Welcome to the trap. Where we joke and rap. Gut busting laughs. Hand slapping laps. Girl, slap it loud. Get you through your day. And it's free of cost. So Don't you laugh too loud. No, no. Don't get fired by your boss. Welcome to the comedy, Welcome trap, to house. comedy trap house. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to another episode of the comedy trap house. We got a fun packed field show today. I am Rome Green Jr. in the building. With me, I got Cam. It's 
never my fault. <laughs> That's funny. I got a manual. That's what Amber Heard said. <laughs> <laughs> I got Mike Mendez. Top of the morning. How's it going? Top of the morning. <laughs> When we got uh listen guys, we had to run it back, man. Y'all are running it back. I know some of you clicked the video and like, fuck, I clicked last week's video. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> He's back again because there's too much going on in the comedy world, in the world in general, and he wanted to come on and speak his truth. Dad, every- dads <laughs> like to comment on everything. I don't know dad, what it is. Like Once he become a dad, I got something to say about that. <laughs> we got Marvin and back hey. in the building. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm just here for a little uh, double penetration. It's nothing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, man, uh, it's, it was a lot going on last week. Um, so where shall we begin? Uh, I, I guess we'll begin with uh, what's on the board. Yeah. Uh, so we'll begin with, uh, you know, those of you who you, you know by now, if you don't know, uh, Kevin Samuels, the... Uh, the the internet sensation himself the uh the god the godfather as they called him mm-hmm. uh some the relationship <laughs> the guru, relationship guru. <laughs> <laughs> the modern woman slayer <laughs> as some may have called him some uh, might even say jesus <laughs> <laughs> he uh he passed away uh last week um and uh 56 i believe 56 years old yep. 56 um oh, well, 57 oh, 57 Oops. 57 years old and uh yeah it's, uh, the internet um some people were on the left and some people were on the right and uh yeah so it was just uh, interesting the uh the f- the the amount of um hate hate uh the amount of uh celebration uh, was very interesting to me, mm-hmm. um, but yeah. Uh, what, what, what were your first thoughts when I? Because I think we came in the house and told you that day when you were sitting, you were sitting in the yeah, house. Yeah, I was. I was pretty shocked. Uh, I mean, I, it, you know, when it comes to death, I handle it in different weird mm-hmm. ways. So I was just kind of like, it, it didn't hit me until later, mm-hmm. and I was like, damn, that dude is really gone. Yeah. And uh, Marvin, how much do you know? Like, how much were you? knowledge uh up on on kevin samuels in terms of watching his videos or anything like that i i watched a few um Mm -hmm. i i was pulled in when he referred to the lady as a running back um (laughs) quite funny it was quite funny that that went went viral (laughs) so i was was like okay let me go and so i watched a few videos and then i was like and i was just confused after a while because it was like why why how was this popular Mm-hmm. Um, but it was, and so we'll we'll go into that. But yes, so okay, I, I've seen a few, yeah. Them, but I didn't, I wasn't an avid watcher. Yeah, yeah. he dropped a video that I seen trending this week, like from years ago. He said, "Right now, my views, my videos don't get no views like that." But he said, "If I come on here and start bashing women mm-hmm. and start doing that, yep. then I'll blow up, won't I?" Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. you've seen. Yep. I mean, the thing about Kevin Samuels, right? I guess. He started off like really advising men first. Mm-hmm. I think that was his whole mm-hmm. thing like three years before. Because he was an image consultant, I believe. Yeah, he was or an image like consultant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was trying to help dudes get their, you know, they, uh, their the game up, yeah. the image game up. <clears throat> and then I think in 2020, uh, there, was a, there was a new dynamic that a lot of people know now. It's called the red pill, mm-hmm. right? Which a lot of men got into and different people, women alike now to have gotten into, which is kind of like pushing against it's it's a it's a it's 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 a bumblefuck of things. Mm. It's it's the the feminist movement. It's pushing back against the left movement, against the 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 accepting of you know the reasons that we have like transgendered and uh, people in uh, sports right mm-hmm. now that are beating all the female. It has to mm-hmm. do with all of these things that's going on culturally, mm-hmm. and even in the black community, you know our lack of a leader. You know, individual leader. When 2020 rolled around, like, uh, and, and uh, there are leaders in the black community, yeah, but yeah. I'm talking about the one voice that you mm-hmm. know, you know, we had the Black Lives Matter as a, a company mm-hmm. running things, but mm-hmm. it didn't seem like the, who was the person. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so a lot of things came into question about how we raising our family dynamic. A lot of people talking about, you know, you hear online women saying "fuck niggas," "I hate men," 
uh, you know, I'm, I'm independent, strong, all by myself. It seemed like all women are just going away from us, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot. And this, this guy kind of just came in like a hurricane, was like, yo, we gotten away from who we are, like just as people, mm -hmm. right? We forgot that we have biological things that move us, right? And the further we get from that, the more problems we're, t we're seeing, we're having, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We have more than, it's probably gonna go up to 60% divorce rate now. It's probably, probably. you know, uh, you know, Guys are getting their kids taken away from them. A lot of guys are depressed because they don't know how to get their own game up. You know, they're not working out, whether it's working out, the stuff we know, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. things, the games change in terms of getting money. You know, uh, a lot of things where men and women just feel lost. And I felt like Kevin Samuels was a guy that kind of came through and was like, yo, there's a, a ba basic building blocks of life that we've kind, kind of gotten away from that we followed for thousands of years, right? Mm -hmm. You know, women follow us as, as men and, and, and we should be the leaders, good leaders, uh, and provide for them, right? And they have our children, take care of the households, yada, yada, yada. As we gotten away from that with women getting more freedom and uh, uh, ways to stop pregnancies mm -hmm. or whatever, whatever, uh, they've become way more independent and in some ways feel they don't need a man, even though, and so he was just trying to say, we need each other. Yeah. Right at the at baseline, mm -hmm. we just need each other. We need to learn to work together. Mm -hmm. There are differences. There's not a the, the, running away from a marriage for irre uh, what's it called Irre irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable irreconcilable mm -hmm. I'll say differences. It again. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Do it. Differences. <laughs> that that word yeah. uh, <laughs> running away from a marriage based yeah, yeah. on that is just not like good enough when you took vows to say forever he yeah, sickness. Yeah. You know, not just because you feel sad mm -hmm. or bad and then he had other aspects like the high value man thing he had the mm -hmm. you know talking about because so many women were saying well i deserve a guy that makes a hundred thousand more or whatever whatever mm -hmm. I, I need this and so he started asking well what do you bring to the table yeah. he was, cha and it was challenging just, he was challenging, challenging yeah, yeah. people he's mm -hmm. challenging the status quo he's challenging women and, and men mm -hmm. he did it for mm -hmm. many years mm -hmm. he was challenging men mm -hmm. uh it's just that when it got to the women it became very polarizing mm -hmm. because women aren't talked to like this mm -hmm. often. They not they don't hear these things. Most of the, a lot of times they hear from men that just want to fuck and say anything. Oh yeah, I like what you do. Da da da. And at the end of the day, they don't want to be with you yeah, <laughs> because yeah, they right. see you on you ain't a wife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You probably not built for a wife, and maybe he's not built for a husband. Whatever it is, but he was just trying to reflect that mirror on us and be like, "Yo, look at what we are. We can do better." And yeah, that's, I think that's what I took from him. And I thought it was always positive, but many people took otherwise just because of the the heart, the the uh, the brass. Yeah, his message got his message got lost in his delivery. You know, that's what it is. Yeah, his, his, message, his message got his lost message. in his but yeah, his delivery. Go, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just like his message got lost in his delivery and. You know, because a lot of people don't know how to, because different people have different communication styles. How I, how we speak to each other, is not the same. How I can go speak to Billy at the, you know, it's just two, it's two different things. So his yeah. communication style, <laughs> his commu communication style was just him. He was being himself, but to some people they can't handle that type of. Time. We might be able to handle it. Like, all right, he's just being real, but. People were getting lost, like, oh, he's being rude, he's being... And maybe he was in some cases, but his message was about the black family and, you know, and trying to, you know, try to figure it out. So it sucks that that his message was getting lost in the way he was delivering certain things. I mean, some some people are which is, are sensitive. Right. You know, a lot of times it came off as comedy to us sometimes because it was, it was kind of but funny. But it came but off it, as real, too. It was real, no, no, for sure. It, 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 and <clears throat> honestly, he would have never... No, his word would have never got out there if it wasn't yeah if it wasn't the, the, the if it wasn't way. as salacious or if it wasn't as harsh of how yeah. it came out because he yeah. would he was doing the same thing for three years it wouldn't have went viral yeah yeah however many yeah, yeah. couple thousand you know subscribers he had whatever it mm -hmm. wasn't he was saying the same thing to guys mm -hmm. get your fucking act together yeah he was as soon as he started saying get your get fucking, fucking act together to women it became this whole big thing mm -hmm. well I think but from that we learned there go ahead. no no I'm sorry I think there's now, mind you, there's a lot of you can go through Kevin Samuels thing, and if you actually listen, there's truth yeah, and, and yeah. what he's saying yeah, and yeah. some of the things that he's saying, right? Like, you know, once you start getting to the high value thing and you're 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 splitting these weird hairs, like I think the danger is um, when you're dealing with um, men or women or whatever, and you're attacking them, you're not aiding them, right? Like, if I say you can't expect this because you're a piece of shit then 
or it's like you're not here instead of giving guideposts to getting there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like if I go again, like this, like I said, the, the thing that brought me to Kevin Samuels was you're five three and how much you weigh? Two hundred something, two twenty five. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh, you're a running back. That's funny, but that's not going to give somebody a message, mm-hmm. right? So if I'm if I'm and women are calling in and having these conversations, mm-hmm. which is why I was confused, because I was like, why? <laughs> like, y'all keep calling. Why y'all keep calling this nigga? Like, y'all not gonna keep calling, like. <laughs> and I, then be mad. <laughs> I keep going to the steakhouse, right. and they keep serving me seafood. <laughs> that's, I mean, they can't, and all I got is steak. It's like, yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. their, right? So that was weird to me, because that's a psychological thing, but I think if you're trying to assist, and then you have to meet people to where they are mm-hmm. to assist, there was no assisting happening. And then the worst part is then you had niggas in the street quoting them oh yeah yeah, yeah. right like and that's where things get crazy because they're taking it and taking it to a whole nother exactly yeah, yeah. so yeah. they're the danger in the in and not saying hey check yourself mm-hmm. hey protect your health because there's it like for me as a trainer i I'm torn in this whole body positivity thing right yeah, I was just about like, to bring you up as I that too. think body positivity and obesity are not synonymous mm. mm-hmm. I don't think they're synonymous but in our culture today they're synonymous right like if she's 315 sis go work it love yourself and it's like you're not loving yourself yeah, yeah. because your health is poor and you might get up out of here quickly right so Hey, if you are 250, but you work out and you're walking and and your body is and you just a solid Vic from from Mississippi and you know <laughs> you turn a corner and then your ass follow later, mm-hmm. that then you can be body positive. Mm-hmm. Ass follow mm-hmm. later. Yeah, yeah, just some of them, some of them joints be <laughs> heavy. Oh, I'll be in there with you on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Poor chops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm just saying, yeah, as a coach, well, y'all think I'm going as, on as, Sundays. But I'm just saying, he's he was like a coach and a trainer in many ways, mm-hmm. in, in which you know cross paths with some of the things you've done. So, don't you feel like a coach can often get through more by being harsh? No, no, you know no. your players. You, you got to know your players. You got to know your players. Yeah, that's that's different communication. You can yell at some yeah, players. But, some players no, but you can't. true that, true that on an individual level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when he speaks to the masses, when you speak to a whole team, y'all motherfuckers get out there and go to work now. But right? he was speaking to individuals. Yeah. Sometimes, that's... sometimes, but he was speaking to the masses. No, he was he had, speaking to the masses. But he was, but his the he examples had individual were training things that you could pay for by yourself. Yeah. Yes, that yeah, he yeah. always offered, but he said on here, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Yeah. So I just I just feel like if sometimes it takes that extra motivation. I feel like a person can have more of an impact, negative or positive, but more positive when you keep it real and sometimes it might sting, but they have to reflect on that. And that's what to me he was doing more than anything. Because I say you look like a linebacker, okay, it hurts, might hurt your feelings. No one's ever told you that before, maybe. But it gives you something to think about and you gotta really look at yourself. Yeah, but I like I can say have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Like, people aren't blind, right? So, it seems again, like that's now... What type of linebacker? Middle or will? Because they're different sizes. Probably middle. So, I mean, probably some middle. of them coming off okay. like old linemen. I, mean, I was thinking Sam, actually. A Sam? Yeah, yeah. A yeah, Sam? Yeah. Like yeah. a prime Not prime a will? Side, or more of a <laughs> swinger. Strong, strong, <laughs> strong side strong coming side. up. Yeah, yeah, filling the gap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real LeVar into So, ones that can shed, they got to be able to shed blocks. That's it. Yeah, you got to... I mean, you got to You got to hit the hole. Yeah, you guys are wild. That's one thing, Yeah, but overall, I mean... Prayers to his family, Pray, but that's that's because, the thing, right? Yeah. Like celebrating this man's death is yeah, yeah. ridiculous, right? Yeah, like that's wild. you didn't have to consume his information just because you differed in opinion. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's and that's fine. Like there was truth. If some people who received the truth received the truth, the danger and and what it was is is what it is. Mm-hmm. But the memes, the celebrations, the that that's crazy because yeah. he was fifty seven. The family lost him, and there's an air of mourning, and we tend to forget that those same, like, public figures mm-hmm. have families. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. His mom found out on Twitter, I believe. That's crazy. Oh, that's, 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 wild. that's right. tough. And I'm sure it wasn't, like, a sad post. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. imagine finding out your baby is gone on some... Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck the mother niggas, because I'm down right. with... That shit <laughs> right. crazy. Yeah. Look, everything last week was crazy, Spe- uh, including Dave Chappelle. Mm. 
So I let Cam kick it off and run down the night that we had. Oh, uh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. I didn't Stop. know it was throwing me. Where you want me to start? I mean, <laughs> Dave, Dave Chappelle. All right, here no, we go. I mean, there, I'm just saying, here we uh, go. So yeah, I can run down the we, whole night. We were, <laughs> we were, we were there. Uh, so we we had tickets to go see Dave. Marvin went. You you went to the show? No, nah, I was there on Friday. He went to the Friday oh, show. Uh, the Friday show. You missed I, the good stuff. I got yeah, my tickets. Went, on, I got my tickets on time. Yeah. I didn't need. I didn't need an add-in show, Dave. I supported yeah. off rip. We went to the add-in show. Uh, so we you, we get there, and of course, um, the night was great. I think it kicked off with uh, Leslie. Um, well, Jeff Ross Jones. was the host. Jeff Ross the host. Okay. Yeah. Came out Did he roast some people? At the end, before before Dave came. Mike is uh, yeah, he's quiet. The, his, his quiet. the logo towards him. Whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure. Speak him. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Check West. Check West. Check West. Mike check. That's check weird. West. Check West. Check West. Check West. Check West. Mike check. There it is. Check West. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Jeff Russell, yep. the host, and then he brought out <laughs> Leslie Jones. Yep. He brought out Sebastian. He brought out Jimmy Carr. He brought out some lady I don't know. Then he brought out uh. Um, oh, she it was John, it was Michelle, Michelle Wolf. Wolf. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Wolf, um, John Stewart. Mm-hmm. And then we got Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. And I was a little I was getting upset because um, Marvin said he got Bill Burr. I said I need somebody big before. <laughs> and he brought John Stewart. I'm like okay, I love but, John Stewart. And, but and, Chris and, Rock came and out. The comedians right. in the comedians' offense, they just weren't big to Cam. Right. These were big comedians. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, no, but I'm saying when he said Bill Burr, I, like, I, I mean no, that level, Michelle yeah. Wolf. These people are actually pretty big, but not. Only thing but, I know I Michelle Burr. Wolf from is she did that uh, the president's uh, roast thing. You yeah. know, one time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. But and she I got mean, in trouble for Leslie, it. Machine, Leslie Jones was in Ghostbusters. Burr. Machine. You know. <laughs> well, I meant as far as the, no, the comedy I wanted to hear. Yeah, okay. Bill Burr. Oh, like, right. come and, on. And yeah, but when Chris Rock, before even Chris Rock came out, no, after Chris Rock came out, we was like, all right, it's Dave time. Mm hmm. And then we see Jabberwockies. I was so the Jabberwockies. Confused. I was. I was oh, so. Look, I love the Jabberwockies. No, yeah, yeah, but there's, so, there's nothing wrong with them. Here's the issue. I get it. It's a big show. Right. So it made sense on that aspect. But then it's like, For if Dave Chappelle don't reveal himself as one of the Jabberwockies, <laughs> that would I don't, be, I, be amazing. I, I don't know <laughs> no. what, what they're doing here. I'm not right. feeling this. Yeah, I'm here just, for comedy. Right. Like it was kind of dead when they came out. Prime and they example. Didn't, and right. they didn't do nothing new, nothing yeah, special. Yeah. Like uh, no moves I haven't seen. It was nothing special. Yeah. Prime I was example. Like, when you come to a comedy show and do something that's not comedy, it can be risky sometimes. It's a, it's a, yeah. When we went to our show at FAU, we thought it was a bit of good time to perform our music that nobody knew. <laughs> Not me. It no, wasn't a good idea. So do <laughs> I told him don't do that. I it, said do it. It wasn't. It, it wasn't was a good trying. idea. <laughs> I'm down for trying. No, so no. that's how we felt with the job. We was like, hey, respect y'all doing y'all thing. We don't this want this. It. We don't want this, this right it. now. We like you, but it, it, not right now. Like not the time and place. <laughs> if this was America's <laughs> Next Best Dance thing, what? Hey, hey, brother, do do your thing. But, but listen, they only Vogue, so you only got <laughs> so many Vogue movies anyway. Before, right? um, but uh, yeah, the first thing Chris Rock said when he walked out, he was like, "I'm all right, there. I'm all right, everybody. <laughs> Calm down, sit down." <laughs> <laughs> but then Dave comes out, and of course Dave kills it. How long was Chris Rock set? Uh, he at least was up there thirty minutes. I oh, okay. you think really? That's well, a good thirty. Yeah, about, yeah, about twenty thirty. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. up there for a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, but before, even before Chris Rock, what's buddy name? That was just telling all the Sebastian. No, no, just telling all the one liners. Oh, uh, Jimmy Carr. Yeah, Jimmy Jimmy Dad. Carr. Oh, oh. Um, I'm yeah. gonna tell you the British dude. The, the tone of the mm-hmm. night mm-hmm. was like dark humor. Oh yeah, if you okay. highly you know, sensitive, it's a Dave Chappelle, you know. dude, not, it's not I'm talking about oh, Dave they, Chappelle show. Yeah, they hitting all the transgender, oh, yeah. transgender jokes, the the abortion jokes, um, the the isn't Trump that just jokes. comedy nowadays? I mean, no, 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 no. But not how <laughs> like you know people play it safe. These people ain't playing it no, no, safe. No, they, like yeah. Yeah, they're I saying mean. things that you know people want to cancel you for. Like that's how far they're going. So I was like. If you highly sensitive, this wasn't the one to go. But isn't to. that all mo- like? No, because Bill no. Burr said he like by the end of his set, I was like, oh, he came out shooting. Yeah, yeah. That, like, but he was yeah. Yeah, I feel like most of the real good comics they come out shooting. They try to test the line. You always gonna try. But, to test but the I line. think um, if you are. a a comic coming to be featured at a Dave Chappelle event, you, you know, gotta you, you can have, turn up a little bit. Okay, yeah, okay. I feel like you you turn up. Like okay. if you he, you go to somewhere else, you might be like, all right, I can say a 
one or two of these. Right, but maybe right. I won't I won't I won't go all the way in. But, but he's shooting at I tell you what the joke oh. he said, I'ma let you know now, it was quite funny, and I'm gonna say it. Hopefully I don't butcher it. My man said he said he was first he said, All right, this is Dave Chappelle show, so I can I can do what I want to. He was like, All right. He was like, All right, well, here we go. And he was like, uh, transgenders. They're really not who they used to be, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we screamed. <laughs> <in there. laughs> Yo, screaming. Like, you gotta hilarious. go watch his special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he did up what? there was <laughs> it was funny. Phenomenal joke. Damn. But he, but what what made him really good is he wrapped it up in a lesson about this whole thing about transgender and about fighting against each other. It was this whole great lesson, but we could talk about that off air. But anywho. Right. And then uh, <laughs> Dave came out. I didn't know this yeah. was a new special yeah, that he's doing yeah. for Netflix mm-hmm. called the... Um, um, the uh, the Something's Manifest. Lunatics the, Manifest. The Lunatics Manifesto. 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 That's yeah. it, yeah, yeah. And he went... He he went any there. line you have, he, he went. Oh my god, way yeah. past. He it. went there. He don't give a I loved fuck it. right now. And, but that's it's brilliant. No, no, oh, brilliant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. brilliant. I can't but wait. It's, it's I be, cannot wait. I think it's gonna be it. more people mad at this. Oh, oh for sure. I don't know how he taped that all. The, I don't know which one he's airing. Right. If he if he filmed this one, he should air this one and with the time. <laughs> Oh, that exactly is phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> but he went there <laughs> right. on when our show. But all right, fast forward, show ends. And now, you know, he does this thing where he like ends it and is walking off stage. So now everyone's getting up to leave. But based on the last one we would go to, we knew, stay. Right. Yeah. So then he came right back on. He said, hold on, hold on. Your party ain't over. And he's about to, I guess, get into the musical act we got. And then I see this guy climbing on stage mm-hmm. and Dave is like facing him, so I'm thinking mm-hmm. Dave see him, mm-hmm. and then the dude start running at him. I'm like, Dave see this? Well, part of it. <laughs> Dave yeah, yeah. don't see this dude until it's like a split second before he's tackling. He like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit so he funny. get tackled. As soon as he get tackled, the dude gets up and runs. He runs. Dave Chappelle starts running after him. His manager come runs out, slips. The security guard comes out, slips. Slip. It looks like, come from and then Dave stage. goes the other way. And then, and here's my thing: the dude ran around the back of the stage. Yeah, he, so did, he, he went all the way around. Why would yeah. you tackle and go out? Yeah, he tackle went around the back. I was like, what is he doing? Yeah, where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? Dave, it wasn't Todd a good him. form tackle. It like, was, I, I watched that video, tackle. and I was, video like, was funny. Yeah, I was like, that wasn't. That was a terrible it, form. It wasn't like, a good form tackle. And I think at that point he he panicked. Like it just look at this. That is. And we sitting here watching this like it was all shoulder. All you heard was the crowd go ooh. <laughs> but then they saw when he got hit. Like yeah, because then nobody knows. Like oh, like, oh. <laughs> and then he got his ass. Then they called him whoop. And what made this whole thing even funnier, Dave. While they, so they he, Dave runs back. He says, "Hold on, I'll be right back, nigga." And he runs <laughs> back there, and they do his thing. He comes back to the mic. While he's back on the mic, he said, "I didn't know where that nigga came from." They beating him while we watching <laughs> Dave perform and talk. They back there stomping him. You Ca- see cameras going. I want to see them pictures because the real foot. I'm talking about yeah. real cameras, not iPhone. Like he, he got the that camera. was right above him while he's getting. Yeah, stomped. he in the crowd yeah. that's jumping him. Like you just see this flashing because I'm just looking. Then that's when Chris Rock came out and he was like, "Nigga, was that Will Smith?" And then that was fun. Then they uh, they said the nigga's hair. I tried to grab the nigga, but nigga hair was spongy like a sponge. <laughs> I couldn't grab. <laughs> that shit was. Then Jamie Foxx came and Jamie Foxx said, "Nigga, I ain't know what was going. I'm grabbing his neck or all type of shit." Was Jamie Foxx jumping like him back yeah, there too? Because I said it looked like Jamie Foxx came from somewhere. No, because I didn't know it was Jamie. But we seen a dude with a white shirt and a hat run from the back. But I didn't know that was Jamie until he came to. The mic <laughs> and uh, Dave was like, you know, thank God, Jamie here with this. He sheriff said, now y'all want to yeah. come from out back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dave said, oh, he says, I'm like, anytime out. you get in trouble, Jamie gonna show up with a sheriff's <laughs> the hat sheriff on. Man. That's funny. That shit was crazy. We was just sitting there like, what? We knew. We said because we didn't have our phones. We said we know this is going to be everywhere as soon as we leave this place. So while we walking out, everyone obviously talking about it, then I'm calling, I called you and I called you. Mm-hmm. Y'all the first two people I called. <laughs> that was funny. And then that's when I saw the ambulance and that's when we saw Buddy, his arm off beat. His arm was all broke. They was putting him in, while well, they was putting him in the ambulance, people was like, boo! And he was just, <laughs> He was just looking. They, was What's like, crazy I, is I saw a picture of him before the ambulance yeah. shot, and he was standing up, and it looked like the cops had his arms behind his back. No, nah, that was the way his arm was folded. At the- <laughs> <laughs> I was you, like, how is it? I've never in my life seen somebody get beat into a cartoon. 
Uh, yeah, like yeah. he got beat into Peter Griffin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, nah, it he, wasn't even a cartoon. It, it was a Jackson it, Pollock <laughs> hand, God damn it. Just splashes of goddamn. Like I was like, they whooped name. his ass. What he received was an old fashioned ass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Very. And we was like, uh, it was just so interesting because like you when you watch it happen, it alm't happens in slow mo because you're like, all right, I see this dude. what are he doing? At first you think is this a dude that's maybe running backstage or something yeah, he just took off running. We were like, what the fuck? And, and then the thing when you in it, you can't respond to it until it's over. So we all just, <laughs> yeah, we just it ain't like no talking going on. Right, Everyone right, is so like, I, and then when it finally got done, God damn, yeah, you saw that? <laughs> we just saw it looking at her. But you don't want to miss it. You know that Waffle House after. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh well, ain't no Waffle House. I know there, ain't no Waffle there, House there. here in LA, but right. you know whatever spot they went to eat breakfast at after, that was a good time. Boy, we whipped that nigga. <laughs> and then I, I was like, I'll just laugh when he brought a musical guest because me and Marvin literally just talked about this. Yes. The Sunday before. Yeah. Working out how he ready for Black Star to drop. And that's who we and got. And that's who y'all. And I was. That's amazing. <laughs> now, that, and that's one of the reasons I, I called you too. You did get busted. You did get busted. But <sighs> you was ready for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a lot of screaming. And, but <laughs> and, but <laughs> and we, didn't, we didn't care after that. Yeah, I don't know so, if you it was cared. so crazy. Yeah. It's like. Oh, the energy was so Yeah, crazy. we yeah, was yeah, ready yeah, to go. I want to talk about this. Like, I'm sorry. You couldn't. Yeah, you couldn't even. And that's what I say. It erased half of the jokes that we probably could have remembered from the other comedians because. Everything, right? <laughs> just like that shit was nuts. But as like as comedians, because uh, of course people have ran on stage before, but why does it feel like it's about to just ramp up even more? Well, it's this is this is the Will Smith effect. Yep, this yeah. is the Will Smith effect. Yeah. Like you got the Oscars, then you got what happened to the comedian in in ATL mm. with um Ti. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 with, with Ti. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. DC Young Fly just whooped the niggas ass. But that was before that was Will Smith. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. People have been running before, on, was, yeah. on stage before that, Will that, Smith. It, it, yeah. It's not that it won't happen, but people now have the, the battery. It's you the battery. Like it's you just more... got the battery in the back, right? And so this dude came up, and I was like, oh, okay, so we need two more of these. Yeah. We need two more sound ass whippings <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> before people go, <laughs> That's good. you know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is not going to, because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I, a good two more. Somebody going to get killed. Like, they need to stop. I just Maybe did a show. somebody needs to die, too. <laughs> well, I just, I just read, I don't know if it's true, they said the same security that was hired for this event was the same from Astro World. If These that's true, trash. that's crazy. They need to get fired. That means they need to be no done. Way. <laughs> There's no I, way. I just There's saw, no I just, way. I just saw it before we got on, so I can't verify that's real or not. That's but if crazy. it is if real, it is, they need to be done. They need yo, to be dismantled from yeah, security. Yeah, yeah. Well, did you know they the same ones from Woodstock when that went crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know they the same ones that didn't protect Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they, they, it was like they just, hey, you got the job back. We're going to give you a first gig to let you, to let you Get your feet back yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like Oh they spit Oh we good We good, we good. Yeah, Comedy we show good. Yeah, yeah we no good. problem That motherfucker Sitting in front of the stage Like <laughs> shit <laughs> Not again Not again <laughs> This is so funny Get tackled What the fuck Yeah no that's what was funny that, what it, the On fuck? the mic What the fuck <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know the funniest part is they supervisor was backstage just looking at like the security just team, just like, like oh, these, uh, here we go. Again. I knew I got him for a well, discount see? for a reason. <laughs> Yo, if Buzzfeed saying it got a little more credibility, little I just saw it no, on Twitter. Oh, that is incredible. Hey, CS, <laughs> that CSC is inc- needs a timeout right yeah, now. The they, world is incredible. They just did Coachella. They are. Uh, they are set to do EDC in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. They already had they, a contract they, for the next Super going. Bowl. Oh, we're going to Super Bowl. We get on the field. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Have, yeah. Hey, CSE. They PR show. got a lot of work to do. To I'm going up image. there kicking any cowboy I see <laughs> in the next game. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear you think we'll be in the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about the Super Bowl. That's exactly what you said. You said Super Bowl. That's what you said. I'm just going to keep blah, 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 blah. So we did a show. I did a show last Two weeks ago, yeah. and Ron, comedian Ron G, who's one of the funniest yeah. dudes I know, was was roasting this white lady. Mm-hmm. Right, he just did crowd work, and she was like, "I'm Native American." She was white, and so <laughs> <laughs> it 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 made it funnier. Yeah. At the end of the show, I'm sitting there, I'm talking to Chris, and we just were wrapping it up. Mm-hmm. She comes up to me, taps me on my shoulder. I don't know who she is. She turns around, she goes, "Fuck you," and then like to you, to me. 
<laughs> but you want the one roast? Well, this sh- proves that she was white, white, because gotcha. she couldn't tell the difference between gotcha. me cool, 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 and light cool. skin. Yeah. I don't think I can handle a white woman saying "fuck me" like that. I'm being honest. Well, no, so you what you happened was no. So I, I had the Chris. Just Rock think about moment. the jail time. You know, yeah, you, you slow down. I had the Chris Rock moment of like, <laughs> I'm willing to go. What the fuck <laughs> just yeah. happened? Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna be her man's ass. And I <laughs> <laughs> and I turned around and I'm barking on her, the man. And I, cause he had been tough while Ron was up on stage and mm. shit, right? And I was like, this if he fucking moves an inch. Yeah, yeah. One, one, yeah, yeah. When I took <laughs> He wasn't. He didn't. I, I, I told you that was the wrong guy. That's it. It's not. No, I told her it wasn't. I was like, I was ready to be. Then I turned around and the whole all the comedians. Oh yeah, and this is before, and I was like, "Oh yeah, we we on whip ass mode right now." So please, <laughs> because like, stay I your love ass that. at home. Yeah, you right. come into a stay your ass at home, man. Right. If you can't take a joke, stay the. It's fuck just a home. simple premise. This place <laughs> is meant for comedians' <laughs> yeah. opinion and takes, right, like, not yours. <laughs> shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, if you sensitive, up. don't come. If That's you why don't I said, like it. It was a shut white up. couple in front of us. They wasn't really laughing. I'm like, why you came to the show? Yeah, why are you here? I'm not saying you gotta laugh, but like, if you sensitive, it seemed like, why are you here? Can I ask you a question? Have you ever been to a Jeff Foxworthy show? No. I haven't been to a show, no. no. Exactly. You don't want it. Like, why would you go to a show you don't want to go to? Right. Like, I'm, not, I'm just not That cool. makes sense. And then be and mad. Then be, and then be mad. Oh, he did redneck jokes all night. All right. I don't go to the strip club and say, I can't believe they ain't here naked. Look at, look at this bitch. I can't. I, look at this No, shit. but I go to the strip club and be like, I can't believe they not in here naked. <laughs> That's what Because that's the strip club that's to me. Right. That's what I be mad at. That's Why y'all ain't that's naked? That's the only time I come in like Kevin Samuels. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> he is not naked. I'm just not a, hashtag <laughs> free the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, that was a uh, that was something that I did not expect to get at that show. So we got our money's worth for sure. That's amazing. Uh, that's kind of a, a historical no, moment it's, it's a, in yeah, entertainment. Just, Dave, honestly, Dave Chappelle said, "I've been waiting twenty five years to stump me a nigga. I never thought it was gonna be in my comedy <laughs> show." <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like that would be fun as hell. They man. had to pull him out of there. Oh, to, for somebody to come do something stupid where it's justified. All right, let me. I get to stump out. I don't condone. No, I fighting. told him if they did that. We oh, jumping in. Oh yeah, it's no. No, that, I don't condone fighting, but it's something like this gives uh-huh. you a little bit of smile on your face. Like if a nigga ran in here thinking like it was just like one person in here, right? It's it's gonna be day. bad for That's you. Bad and if we got a Mexican on our side, oh, it's, it's a wrap for you. We got a cartel with us. <laughs> the funny thing about <laughs> you, you the funny thing about you being on the same page with me on that, they run on stage, we jump him. I can see me and or you or her. <laughs> <laughs> I can see if she linebacker side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can see me and you running. Let's do it, yeah, yeah. nigga. I'll be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop this nigga. Imagine you get stuck there, you see <laughs> niggas smiling. You're like, why y'all smiling? Why y'all celebrating? <laughs> but you the see funny thing, I wonder why a lot of like we didn't get tried a lot on like while Only we were on tour. A lot. It, it happened a lot. Fayetteville, but, but when you think about it, it I'm five eleven, the shortest probably yeah. right now. Six foot, six one, six two. <laughs> it's not a lot of people that are going to jump this five man group like, yeah, or we try only, some we shit. We only got tried that one top. time, and that was Fair a favor. And that wasn't really trying. They was like, they said something to me. I'll say, I can't even remember what they said. You but. said something. We'll I remember it. your I response. Remember what was my response? You said, I don't come to McDonald's and boo you. Are you oh, working? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I think they was booing. <laughs> no, it was two people booing. Yeah. It was like one dude trying to like heckle yeah, yeah. and boo. Yeah. He said, I don't come to McDonald's and boo you while you working. <laughs> Everyone was like laughing. That, that was, that's it. That's now, 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 they could have went the other way. No, <laughs> that, but now, it now, now I got to kill you. Yeah, <laughs> it could have went I'm the other way. I'm smelling like french fries and shit. Just, <laughs> nah, nigga, he's got to die. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, come to a show and enjoy it, man. Just that's come it. to a show and enjoy yeah. it. Go like, if home, you don't man. Want, if you don't want to go see that genre yeah, just don't or at minimum if you start to get offended quietly get your ass up quietly that can be dangerous too I mean, that's but, when they but, start, now that's when they start but, I mean, you. It, at least if you can just get out of there if, it is, if you want to get out of there get out of there like but, the fact that people have like uh, get so sensitive <laughs> by words about, yeah, you yeah. have to get up and leave it's just like <laughs> retarded to me yeah by nah. com- especially in a place of comedy these are meant to be jokes. Yeah. Sir, no, words that you are word anymore cuz mm, that bothers me. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Words that you that you agreed and paid for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's really the right, 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 right. I don't get. Don't come if you're sensitive. Right. Like this is not 
it's not my show, right? Yeah, where you're yeah. like, I don't know who this nigga is. It's Dave Chappelle, and you know what his topics of of conversation have been, right? Don't yes. fucking go. <laughs> like I don't it. like baseball. I don't go to baseball games. Like man, this is boring, man. Y'all like this? I don't go and ruin their experience. <laughs> they, they gonna look at you like, yes. they gonna be like, get your ass. I just, out I just don't go. It ain't been one football on the field. <laughs> And if I do go, I'll go with someone probably enjoy it and I'm just going to chill. Most of the people at a baseball field are going to be like, we agree with you. <laughs> we this drunk. shit trash. You got to drink more. You got to enjoy the game. We're losing <laughs> money every year, goddamn. I just don't know Buddy's end goal. That was, everybody was like, Hello there. Have you ever been searching something on your computer and been like, what the hell? Because somebody else knew what you were searching? Well, guess what? ExpressVPN is the app that you need. Stop using incognito mode. We here at The Trap, we love using ExpressVPN to make sure we hide everything and encrypt everything, all right? We ain't about the bloods, but we about encrypting, if you know what I mean. So tap in with Express Express VPN to make sure you guys hide everything on your computer, all right? You don't want nobody knowing what you're searching, all right? So today, protect your online activity by tapping in with expressvpn.com slash trap house, all right? And you get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's E-X-P-R-E. SSVPN.com slash trap. Get you some and stop pulling up that stuff on your computer in the incognito mode thinking nobody see it. Get you ExpressVPN. Oh, yeah. Ain't nobody going to know what I'm searching on here. Or will they? That's why you need to use ExpressVPN, all right? People are talking about why don't you just use incognito mode. No. You can't just use that because I done, I done searched plenty of stuff that I ain't going to tell y'all about in incognito mode and they it still be on there. And I'd be like, man, I hope don't nobody look at my computer because it's going to be rough. All right. It doesn't matter who your Internet service provider is. ISPs in the U.S. can legally sell your information to ad companies. Do you want your you want your information sold to ad companies? I know you don't. Mike Mendez sure don't. He didn't show me the stuff on his computer. And let me tell you, you don't, you don't want that. All right. So ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure services so your ISP can't see the sites you visit, all right? It also keeps all your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available, all right? So make sure you tap in. No more using incognito mode. You thought you was being safe and secure, but you wasn't, all right? So make sure you tap in. That's why we use it over here at the Trap House to make sure that our stuff that we be searching on here to tell you guys... It's not found. All right. Protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by Business Insider. Visit our exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash trap, and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S VPN.com slash trap. ExpressVPN.com slash trap to learn more. Get you some. Ah! Hey, Marvin, you ever wash your face? Not like that. Okay, well, let me show you why. Tej Henley makes me feel so empowered. I had to scream sometimes under this towel, all right? Tej Henley is your face washing system for men that's going to take care of everything you need in the AM, in the PM with the moisturizer. That's why I use it. I get my face moisturized, all right? You got to say it like you're from Cal. Moisturize, all right? Anywho, make sure you tap in with Tej Henley, all right? They got the level one system. It's the easiest to get started. It comes with all the basic guys need to take care of your skin and comes with all the instructions so you can know exactly what to do. Tap in with our sponsor today and get 30% off your first box. That's T-I-E-G-E dot com slash trap. Tej dot com slash trap. Get 30% off your first box. Now, that's an amazing deal. Boom. What was his end goal? Was, uh, I don't know what the end goal was. Uh, at least try to get out of there. Don't run backstage. Well, he is a niggas. rapper. He, the, who? The the guy who yeah. just, He's a rapper. He has a song you, called you Dave Chappelle. Song called oh, Dave you, Chappelle. You got it? I can, I can oh. pull it up. This was planned you out. Been planned. Oh, oh, oh I did. I so did. Not not man, what was this yeah. nigga name? Took a chance. The rapper it, nigga. Took, <laughs> took a chance. The rapper. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's really. Good. You listen to it? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, we heard it on the uh, Mayhem Hour yeah, Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I can play like a, a quick minute of it. I'll just say. Oh, this nigga's got streams. Look at us. Oh, I'll say it's a. It's pretty trash. Oh, I mean, <laughs> he's using a. Hey, how many strings he got? 
millions now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That shit happened. Walking straight into the boat. <laughs> you know, yeah. my nigga is me. Huh. Okay. Life at you niggas a joke. <laughs> Mixing trash. Wait, this nigga rhyme boat with boat? Yeah. <laughs> 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 boat. Hey, that's what a boss man. Hey, 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 Hold on, does he say he said Chappelle? Oh, it's called Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gotta get he gotta get the money to pay for the metal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Once he get the metal expense, now he gotta go back to the studio and say how he got beat up by a comedian. He right. gotta rap about his life now. But he's not gonna be able to hold the mic, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they got It's just gonna be a little <laughs> far from his face. That's why they got stay in. Rapping you niggas a boat. <laughs> I call this Dave Chappelle part two. Yeah, part two. <laughs> uh, but um, I see we have a Cam's hypothetical. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna okay. talk about that. Uh, Here you go. You wanna read it, man? If you were forced into a gladiatorial <laughs> combat, but could only choose a weapon that isn't typically considered a weapon, what non-confrontational weapon would you choose? What non-conventional weapon would you choose? So I'm a gladiator. Yep. I'm in the arena, yep. like okay. Russell. Yeah, and I gotta pick a weapon that's not considered a weapon. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, is it, that's good. What are we limited to? Is Give me a like, nail gun. Is it? That's what I'm gonna say. That's is not okay. Hard, is that's that hard? Is, is, is that? But it's not considered a weapon. It's not considered that's a, weapon. a. That's a. You know. Let's take a anything with a gun out of it. What do you mean? <laughs> Glue gun, nail gun. Let's keep those out. <laughs> all right. All right. The nail gun is actually not beneficial. But that's when you. No, because you have to put pressure. Oh, so you have to be up on so you the person. Have to get up on them. Oh, that's to, fair. Yeah, that's hey, fair. they got to get up on me. <laughs> they gonna throw up on you. Oh, then come you on. You are not an action fight, hero, right? Cam. Uh -huh. What'd you say? <laughs> I think a, like a person, a person. or a lion. Yeah, that's, I, it's either a person or a lion. I don't know yeah. what I'm fighting. Every time I shoot, oh, that's every true, time that's I hit one, I'm like, nailed it. <laughs> Make them even more mad. So I watched The Wire. I remember when she went and got the nail gun, what they did. So, you ain't but doing I can't, that to use that. can't use that. That means I gave a good answer if you immediately take it off the table. So, saying justify your thing. Okay. You need to talk to Kevin Sam. <laughs> can, 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 I use, can I use a bat? Sure. That's a oh, yeah. sporting, you know. Yeah, but that's but that's that's, that would be considered a weapon. That's, All right. that's All in right. the club category. Okay. okay, okay, let me think. Let me think. It's tough. What would you fellas mm -hmm. choose? That's what I'm thinking. I remember really thinking that's the non-conventional. That's what I'm saying. It's a non. That's why I'm saying. Are we? Can I use an umbrella? Okay, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not how mad would you that. use it? I mean, the hard side is it? I may poke somebody. I mean, the hard side get hit with. I'm, I gotta, I'm gonna use trying like to use Cap, something like I have. Captain America speak. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do what I can do. <laughs> I'm looking um, around here. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, like I, you, you can use a, maybe a stand. <laughs> I'm just trying to get something I can swing oh, a in, a and, it, and it don't a break. C stand? A C stand. I don't want it oh, to sorry. break for those who don't off know the first hit. The, I don't want it to break. Thing. That's my whole thing. <laughs> Something whole. light enough for me to keep swinging, but hard enough that's going to, if you get hit with this, I think yeah. you can do a C stand. Be solid. I think it's pretty, uh, I think you can swing that. You got the legs at the bottom. You might be able to use it. some that. of them heavy, like this one right here. Heavy. That one kind of heavy? That one heavy. Hmm. But, but those legs, that'll keep things away from you. The legs at the bottom. <laughs> but see, I don't really necessarily trying to keep them away. I'm trying to, you know, if it's a lion, you trying to keep that shit away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting a lion now. Can I'm I saying it's off? a gladiatorial. Oh, if I'm fighting a lion, it's think, over. I'm trying to think, but I'm trying to think Mario Kart like banana peel. <laughs> can I can I get a black or Latin mom and okay. a fucking uh, okay. sandal? And I'm Duh. good. Okay, like that's, that's, solid. That, that's, that's solid. a weapon. That's, that's a weapon. That's, that's, hey, mom, that's a deadly that's weapon. A that's that's, that's like exactly like how you consider the Mike Tyson, or, you know, <laughs> <laughs> deadly weapon. A black mom with a flip flop. That's hilarious. Like, that's yeah. a deadly weapon. And right moms be having good aim when they be spanking oh, too. Listen, oh, they be yeah. hitting everything. You be like, mm. shit. That dude, oh, that's first hilarious. of all, dude would apologize at the end like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> right. You know, they, they put me in the arena to fight you. I, Even uh, if it was a lion, it would be talking like that. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> man you know, you know, my father died. I didn't have any home training. So <laughs> I was he was killed that, by my uncle. I know y'all call me action, action hero Cam, but I don't know if that's my arena. The gladiator that's arena? Tough. That's a that's a no. whole level of man, yeah, man yeah. shit. Oh, right well, they I'm used glad to put you can be people, honest. They used oh, yeah. to put uh, niggas. That's not my realm right there. They used to put people you said you fight a bear. I did not say that. I did not say that. You just said level of fear. I said levels of fear. Y'all took it to another argument. They used to put niggas in a coliseum with a lion and say, get it. Hey, hey. Tigers on that shit. Like, what the fuck? But look, if I got to fight a lion, 
give me the lioness. It's a little smaller. Right. Don't little smaller. Aren't those the one that be hunting? They yeah, are but they're a little smaller. Yeah. Trust little me. Smaller. I, I'll take that. I mean, I still ain't going to have a chance, but I'd rather the smaller Out of all the thing. cat family, which one you fighting? you rather fight out of all the cat family? A cheetah. You going you going cheetah? cheetah? Well, cheetah. they're you smaller know? cats, but I, How about a I'm about assuming cat? that. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You know I don't mean those I was going to go, but you talking about Africa? Yeah. Well, then cheetah. A cheetah. They still big as fuck, but. what about if you're going all of them, you going bobcat probably? I'm probably gonna go smaller. There's a smaller cat out there. What's I mean, a house, house cat, cat like, um, <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> what is it? Lynx, lynx like, are bigger than uh, lynx bobcat. and bobcats in the same yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. But somewhere, yeah, I still take them over anything bigger than that cheetahs shit and all be that. Scary, especially when we seen that video. I think what that dude that was on the the hike. And he was mm-hmm. filming it, and it was like following him. And he was uh, like, right. "Go!" No, that was a light oh, line. Yeah. That, uh, mountain mountain lion. Lion. that, that was mountain shit lion. was yeah. so good. <laughs> but luckily, that was a young mountain lion too. Right. Oh, that was a young. The one, one you talking about? The one that came, he started throwing rocks. Well, he just was walking. And he was yeah, yeah. Up. That was a yeah, young yeah, mountain yeah, lion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Luckily, yeah, because that was mom's. It was, that was <laughs> the mom though, but it was just still just young. Like still young. Oh, it was still okay, a okay. younger one. It wasn't even full grown. But at the end of the day, Mike, get the drum roll ready. They're all just pussies. <laughs> but I feel like I got a better <laughs> shot with the cheetah. I still may lose that, but you know it's a lot I mean, smaller no, no. than a it's leopard. Or, and, they're, yeah. and, and they're more passive. They don't. It's actually gonna be a lot like, of scratching and shit. That's yeah. why. No, you gonna be scratched. You gonna scratch the fuck. <laughs> right. But you got a shot. I'm I'm take a you this is, you take your scratches. adrenaline's gonna be running. Scratches. Yeah, yeah. You could just fend those. You know, as long as they don't get nothing. Yeah. All that. Like with leopard, but anything, all that. You ain't. You ain't winning. There's no. Yeah. There's no. There's no strength. You're not winning against a leopard. No, how no, big is a leopard? Those niggas big as fuck. Oh, they big they as mo- fuck, and they the most aggressive cat. Wait, they carry and they, they carry, carry shit up trees. Up they trees, do carry dude. shit up trees. They just, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> they, and they the most aggressive. No, no, in you roll trees. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like them niggas attack more people than any any of them big cats. That, in like when I think about like I'm never. Like a black panther and shit like that's that. That's just intimidating. Like, that's just scary. They be in the in the shadows and they shit. They look a little sexy. They ain't gonna they know, they no, all these cats look sexy. That black pussy can get it. Yeah, that black pussy might be able to get it. I ain't gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know black panthers bad. Come on, man. Look at that bitch. Marvin, don't be acting like you don't like no black pussy. That's a bad. <laughs> that's a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that black. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, oh if that if that panther had an IG million. Oh million yeah, problems. millions. <laughs> Look, he got his oh, mouth that, open, that everything. Thing pink in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one though. The one right there in the nah, that, nigga, that nigga crazy. That oh nigga, god, that, that's the nigga on the block that you oh, never no, want to cross. No. That nigga's outside a gas station right now. <laughs> That's Nick. scary. Though. But that, that cat looked crazy. That looks like the Kodak Black of <laughs> goddamn cats. That nigga like Idris Elba, right? Yeah, this, he <laughs> looked Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, you know, I didn't know he they wars had... with a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> he just, bruv. 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 <laughs> bruv. I didn't know they spotted like that, though. Spot, he got, like, or, colors. Oh, like, uh, oh, yeah. It's like, uh, that's a jaguar. That's a jaguar. Oh, that's a jaguar. Oh, that's yeah. a jaguar. Black Panther. oh, a black jaguar. Okay. Yeah. I ain't know about those. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, That's the other bad bitch. <laughs> he said we everywhere. <laughs> we everywhere. <laughs> we everywhere. Get your animals up. Oh, my God. Um, all right. That's my so, mission now. I want to narrate an animal doc now. That should be funny. All right. So, life. did did all right, weapons. Unconventional weapons. Did y'all, we went, yeah. I went with C-Stand. That's all I think. I, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go C-Stand. C-stand. I, I, you know what? I would probably get a... Uh, you know what I'll grab? I'll grab a, a, a light. A light like a, with, the, with the ball busted. Okay. Mm-hmm. With a light stand okay. and maybe some electricity is coming out of it. Okay. okay. Get maybe it's battery, so you battery, a battery powder. A light battery out of powder. A, it's a, a gladiator of... time. Only because I've seen this recently in a video, <laughs> I would take <laughs> Mike Stan and Mike. Mike. Like stand up Mike with oh, the heavy. With the, oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Mike that's, that's a good and the wire. Wire, oh, yeah, you that's know, good yeah. for women so, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one nigga <laughs> grab it. He gonna grab it and start doing stand up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> Choke this nigga out. And see what the joke is. <laughs> right. you know, that nigga gonna be running at you, and I'm running with a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and that nigga around he forty times. You ever walk past the Coliseum? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I bet you ain't nobody go try to tackle a nigga in the Coliseum. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't trying to do that. <laughs> um, so in other uh, wild stuff, last week was just wild. So we had our homeboy uh, Derek on, Derek Harper. Um, he's a good guy, uh, investor, owns some businesses in Atlanta. Talk, had the boss talk. At the end of the boss talk, he goes, yeah, I'm flying out to Phoenix um, for game two of the, or was that game three? 
Might have been game, game, yeah. game three. three. But yeah, he's like, I'm flying out for the uh, Phoenix and uh, Dallas game. We were like, oh, yeah, that's going to be dope. He looks at us, he goes, uh, should y'all want to go? Uh, I was like, uh, y- 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, let me look at tickets real quick. He was like, oh, no, 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 no. I, I got I, I get the tickets in the, in the game ticket. Okay. I said, oh, this what the girls feel like. Yeah, that, that's exactly uh, what the girls feel like. I said, now I understand why they want this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. It just, it's that, but take out all the humility out of it. Right? Like, and then start asking questions. Start, like, okay, well, what's the you. hotel going to be like? Gotcha, gotcha. Because, yeah, because we offered first. So, they, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, true. Exactly. That's true. So, yeah, so we, uh, we got the tickets. We got home from the Dave concert. Went to sleep, woke up, haircuts, hit the airport. Get there, um, checked in the hotel, and just kicked it into the game. And the amount um, of stuff I did and still was on time was crazy. Yeah, we we was like, I don't know how many women would be on time with all the stuff we had to do. <laughs> so, but, so hold on, it was a day trip that oh, day, like one we, day. Yeah, we, so he asked you that day. He asked us Tuesday. When Tuesday, he, we went to the Dave concert. Uh-huh. He uh, texted us the info for the tickets that like midnight when we got back. Booked the hotel room, got up. <laughs> I, got had, I had a haircut. My, my locks retwisted. I pushed it up, went earlier, drove straight from there, got a haircut, came back here. Um, I went. We went to the dry cleaners. I dropped some packages <laughs> off and went straight to the airport. Straight to the flew airport. Out. Then flew out, got there, kicked it for a little bit. Um, then we got to the game. That that arena is pretty nice. That that's, that that uh, the foot footprint center, I believe it's called. Is uh, that a company? Not sure. Or they just call it. <laughs> not, Maybe not sure. Owned um, by a group of Native Americans. Uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> yo Phoenix man. The aesthetic, the, the architecture is, is fucking. They, fire, a lot of man. it was a lot of thick Anglo-Saxon women out there. Yeah, they compete. Uh, they, they 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 trying yeah, to they, no, 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 they, they was trying to compete with North Carolina white yeah. women. No, 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 no. North Carolina got the thick. Oh yeah, no, that's I'm dead. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, it was thick. It was thick. All that sun out there, they got to lose all the way to make thighs. I don't know. I don't know anyway. Thick, thick, thick Anglo Saxons and thick Mike's cousins out there. This, out there, yeah. this. Right. So now we talking. Black people are Mike's minority. cousins. I'm there. <laughs> the, the most black people are on the court. Yeah, yeah. That's the, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and court side Odell was yeah. down there. This nigga said yeah. any NCAA school. But <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, the game was the game was great. The game was that, great. But yeah. the most impressive thing about the whole trip, we come outside. You know, you got street performers. Mm-hmm. There's this black dude. He got a. He just got a. You know the the speaker and a mic. He playing the beats. He's just freestyling. Mm-hmm. Not you regular know, freestyle. like people can freestyle. Rome can freestyle. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about this nigga is hitting like a Migos type flow and cadence and pace talking while he's freestyling, and rapping about, about everything he's seeing. If you oh, walk up, he gonna start rapping about you. I'm like, he is and in not the pocket too. You, that shit just is saying crazy. what you got on, what you doing. If you drop money, he gonna say, and then he'll go to the next person. I'm saying keeping this cadence. And he ain't like, uh, oh yeah, he got on a black jacket and that. Jacket. And if he had to talk, nah. Paul take a break. He's like, oh, let me take a break. Got to switch his book. I got to tie my shoes and da da I recorded. I, I was I was crazy. blown. I had to tip. I, I gave him money. <laughs> I started recording. I gave him because more I ain't money. Never seen it done in that fast. Like, that shit was crazy. Rome went yeah. somewhere. I said, I'm gonna stay here. Just come get me when you when you really ready. <laughs> I am. I'm just now <laughs> now on a scale of like you know he works for the team nah, nah, to do no, that or him. homeless. Mm. I went and followed somewhere in between. In between. No no no. Okay okay. I don't think he. I followed him. No no no. He he been on like talk shows. Okay. Oh so he's. Okay, so, so he, yeah, he right. out here. Like, this nigga, this is hustle. Like, that was he come impressive. out of these events. But it was that shit was impressive. The most impressive rapping I've seen in <laughs> That shit was really impressive. Did he look happy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, did. That's he, actually, he did. I love that. I love yeah. somebody that loves what they do. Yeah. Not, you know, yes. no matter how much money it is, whatever. Yeah. If you love what you do, you ever seen some of these TikTok things of people just bagging up food <laughs> and they'll just do it <laughs> but they'll do it like quick as fuck and they'll like yeah. do this shit they be on that shit huh? yeah. they be on it they love that shit though they love it that's but what yeah. I'm saying like I that appreciate shit, yeah. that they love the, the things yeah. they do to what most people would call small you, yeah, yeah. Know, you, ain't, you ain't doing nothing big but he takes yeah. pride in it yeah. but you can tell he didn't necessarily have to do this this is part of like the grind and the promotion yeah, yeah. right right because right, right. you know everyone gonna record yeah. and post it and this right. and that he's so probably making money that. online now more than probably anything. i yeah. didn't i didn't go to his catalog yet right it was impressive but it yeah. was impressive yeah, definitely, i'll definitely show you impressive. after i record I'll but let me tell you something about That's them sweet. one day trips they exhausting yeah. like you just feel beat up <laughs> Like, you were like, I just got off the plane. You feel like you're right back on the plane. But it was. And you didn't even have to there. bust it open. 
I ain't even had to bust it open. That's crazy, man. You know what? You know what? That's got a me good there? guy. You know what got me there? <laughs> hard work. Hard work. <laughs> hard, work. <laughs> hard work. Not working for the hard. <laughs> If you know what I mean, ladies. <laughs> that was my first playoff game. Yeah, was, that was, the energy is let, different. Let me tell you, Luca for somebody that had a body frame Peace. of a of a of a stepdad of some time, yeah. he be balling. Uh, yeah, that's, like he's he's really good. That's that's the new uh, white ass. But yeah, also, non body. Yeah. They, they took like Tom Brady's old genetics. And just, like we need to make more of these. Luca, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Tyson Fury. Yeah, uh, Joe Kidd. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> when Chris Paul want to take over a game, yeah, he does. He does. He does. What, he, yes. what he did in that fourth quarter, that was I was crazy. blown away because it was close all into the fourth quarter. Yeah, they blew him out by twenty, right? He, yeah. yeah like, when he yeah. gets to his little his little spot, that mid range. Yeah, and then when and then do. with him couple when when Booker got hot it was yeah it was it was it was a wrap. I, I remember that it was like it was like a five or six point game. Yeah, and then I like I was like I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah. And they, I came back. I was like fifteen. I was like what did I miss? <laughs> I was so mad. I wanted to. I wanted, wanted to, run, to, I wanted to go to the wire. To the wire. Right, right. It, I was so mad at that point. They I, ran them off the court. I was like, yeah. oh. I haven't seen any of the playoffs. I'm oh, you know you are, man. No, this what amazing. is what? What I, I keep hearing? It's, it's been amazing. It's just like because right, everybody is balling. It's been like, like all the games go like, almost. Everybody down been balling. Ball. It's weird. Like everybody been. It's kind of been like that it's since even. 2020, though. Right? Yeah, kind of like since yeah, the ball. Yeah. Even even it is. first time. It feels competitive. It ain't like this. There's super one super team. Okay, right. Because like most of these teams, what what's been amazing about it? One team will go up by like 15, 20, and you'll think that it's over, right? And it's not. Like they'll come back. You be like. Like, what is going on? <laughs> like, even like the first round, it was like niggas was just killing niggas. Right. But this round is like, even, in both series, the Heat versus uh, the um, Philly I'll and feel, now yeah. Suns versus Mavs, both both sides had a 2 0 lead. Mm-hmm. Then the other side came and won the two, last yeah. two games. Right, so, so both are both tied. 2 2, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, who's, who's, the, I mean, the Bucks versus the Celtics, those games, yeah, those like, games those are close. Yeah. Like, everything's been like. You're watching games from, right, right, from right. first yeah. quarter to fourth quarter now. Is there yeah. any stand like the team that anybody has like? They it's said tough. the Suns, but the way the Suns played the last two games, people are trying to like I don't know. But then it's Milwaukee also because you know right. Well, the Bucks with Giannis, you can't, Giannis, yeah. you, can't, yeah. you can't do nothing with that. And it's just a ma- it's crazy how much of an impact player, how much a player can impact the team because Embiid came back for the Sixers and, and made a whole the difference. Switch the, the, the series with the with the Heat. It's just it's crazy. It, yeah. It's crazy. But yeah, it's been good. It's been good ball. We ain't got nobody to guard him. Yeah, he's a, too tall. It's a big. You remember yeah, I mean, same thing with Giannis. Like Giannis, like. Like, yeah. It was like, oh, the game's tied. And Giannis was like, give me the ball. You're <laughs> <laughs> See, but the thing with Giannis, like, Embiid got a better shot than Giannis. Oh, absolutely. And he can yeah. do, like, he can drive. He can shoot it from the three. So it's like, sometimes you don't, if he if Giannis had the three, let him be out there. Oh, you let him shoot. But yeah. Embiid, you got to come out. It ain't, yeah. He ain't really got no weaknesses. Right. And it's even on defense. Like, the way this nigga move, like, he's guarding Tyler Hero. <laughs> <Right>. This man <laughs> shifting with, I'm like, this nigga's not human. <laughs> right. He's, He's a monster. <laughs> but be that big and that quick is scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's crazy. I feel like what I said last week about hip hop, the yeah. like old generation is kind of mm-hmm, mm-hmm. moving. Out. I feel the same thing with NBA and some sports. Man. Man. Like there's oh, a new yeah. like generation of great greatness that's coming. These, these young you players, John different. Morant beats too. I yeah. got John yeah. Morant, Listen, Giannis, these, all these. People. We argue like they couldn't play back then. These kids are more skillful now. Dude. They're very like, skillful. They're like they. Are picking up basketballs at five and yeah. dribbling mm-hmm. between their legs, but like that's just and then the, shooting half court. And then the, the training and the facilities and the the uh, the therapy that they have now—it's right. just a whole nother. It's, it's like, just different. Niggas didn't even work out in the NBA. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> at first drinking and shit and. It, like Smoking everybody got drunk halftime. at the at the halftime. What? what? <laughs> yeah, they talking about I had ribs at halftime. <laughs> got back out there. Right, and went out there and scored another twenty. Now you be dead out there trying to chase around job. <laughs> I feel like now it's the progression. It's the progression of like learning basketball. It took up until this point. We still figuring out they still figuring out that like you can do things they thought they couldn't. Yeah. Yep. They didn't think that, oh, shooting from half court was gonna be a thing. They didn't yeah. think, oh, players right. can't do it. Yes, they can. Yeah. They didn't think that centers can shoot threes. <laughs> You know, yes, crazy. they can. It's like just breaking all the rules as we keep going. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting. I'm, I'm just interested 
interested to see what breaks next. Well, let's keep it moving so we get you guys out of here on time. Yeah, uh, so Mike, it's your, leave, so it's, your, uh, it's your joke time. All right, here we go. I know this is everybody's favorite segment. Oh, yeah. Show. Oh, yeah. Here we all go. Right, right. We skipped the fight, though. Did we want to talk about that? Which fight? Oh, the Chris oh, Paul fight. Chris Paul was about to get in. You don't I really see nothing. I didn't see it But Basically, what happened is a fan apparently pushed or shoved his mom his mom and his wife, I think. Oh, no, Both you, you gotta get hands. He was uh, he was about to get hands yeah, yeah, right yeah. off that court. Yeah. He was like, "I'm gonna see you." Oh, yeah, Chris Paul saw him Chris walking Paul's out and was he, like, "Nigga," I'm... he said, "I'm gonna see." You. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like don't. No. This is the number one like, rule. Don't 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 touch them. The the fan. Like, come on, fam. Yeah, here you go. Oh, he mad mad. They should do they show it. Oh, no, him mouth and all. They that do thing? show a well, angle him, where he's right oh, there. There it is. They show him mouth. They don't show him. They don't show the yeah the push. Right, yeah, they don't have to turn push, it up but a little bit, Mike. Cause it's a kid. It's a kid that he yelling at. I don't know how he probably nineteen. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I see you later. I feel him. Oh, and yeah. now he terrified. Oh, he terrified. Now he asking, "What did I do? <laughs> you know what you did?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gonna have to talk. Don't play victim now. Yeah, right, right. The black woman pushed me. <laughs> Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, oh fuck that. Yeah, oh, for real. Chris Paul about to get fined for that, but uh, oh, well, it's that's fair. It's worth it. <laughs> I got feeling that's real, though. Man. Like, some <laughs> of the fans take it too far. Yeah. Man. But this is, like, that line, like, he just needs his ass. It's, it's one of those, we need two more solid ass whippings. He just need a couple Jeez. of two pieces. Like, boop, 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 no, they boop, just boop. need to put Ron out test next to his name. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Nobody will mess with him. You know how scared I'd be? You just go to a game one day after you did something, and then you go to another game, and then Ron Artest, Artest just, just comes and sits down next to you. Like, is that Ron Artest or Meta Word? <laughs> which, <laughs> like, which one are you? Uh, I got uh, questions. But all right, Mike, go ahead with your segment. All right, here we here go. Here we go. All right, uh, so the Batman. Don't make me run on stage. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid to tell one of these jokes right now. All right, all right. Uh, the Batman it came out on HBO now, uh, so they're like working on the sequel now. Uh, I think they have a, a a very dangerous idea for the next villain. Mm -hmm. It's a poison HIV. All right, Marvin, grab the mic. <laughs> <laughs> You're gladiator style. Right, 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 right. Flip on poison ivy. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a flip. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, you know, Ja Rule's been MIA recently. Yeah. Yeah. He, but he's actually, he's doing pretty well. He started becoming uh, a dentist. Uh, his practice is called Ashanteeth. I, ha I hate Man. it. Oh I hate, my I hate it Ashanti. so much. <laughs> I hate it so much. I just want to say it's racist. I gotta do dad jokes. Oh, I, just, oh, I, I gotta do dad jokes on, on Wednesday, so he gotta get me. In oh, you think area. that one's racist? All right, well here's the <laughs> next one. All right, All right. All right. I got now, now we, we got to right, make, make me proud, Mike. This, this is, a, this is a, okay. So uh, Doctor Strange came out, you know, uh -huh. and in the movie it's like a multiverse theory, whatever, yeah. whatever. So in the movie the, there's a girl and the way they travel universes mm -hmm. is she punches them. Mm -hmm. So I think Will Smith actually had that power. So he knocked Chris Rock into a different universe. Mm -hmm. he, and I think he's in the Winnie Pooh uh, universe. Okay. And he started doing stand-up. And he has a good bit. And it's like, there's black people, and then there's Tigger. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> All right, Mike. Get the fuck I was wondering, like, where is like, about to go with Winnie the Pooh? Get up out of here early. <laughs> <laughs> get up out of here. Hey, thank you, everybody. Mendez Tigger. Oh, my God. What? Black Lives Matter. Contact <laughs> Mike Mendez. <laughs> <that, laughs> uh, Everyone would have jumped you. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Black Twitter. Contact Mike yeah. Mendez. That's, that's only flying in here. <laughs> oh, the oh, what? It came out. Oh, Black people than this tiggers. You good? I'm yeah. good. Yeah. It, it, only, it, it, it only flies here. <laughs> Something I knew, else. I knew I was in a safe place. <laughs> I don't mean to be racist because you're Mexican, but you're swimming up the wrong stream. <laughs> 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 Listen, stop. Let him approach the border, okay? Let him approach the border, yep. He didn't cross it. <laughs> Spanish. Uh, Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> All right. Luckily, uh, that's it was, luckily, it was a wall there. He would have crossed the <laughs> 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 
Um, yeah. You know what? People really like that segment. They like tell Mike to tell more jokes. <laughs> Why are you guys enabling him? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. He <laughs> gives me something to look forward to. Um, so makes the right. fans happy. So right, we, we, go. we got about twenty minutes. So let's do it. <laughs> Can we right. hit these four topics? Absolutely. We gonna. Or do we got to throw we, one out? We might have to. Let's just rock. Let's see where let's we go. go. Yeah. All right, Kendrick, new song. Wow, phenomenal. Great. Great. Uh, I'd say yeah. What you, what's your part of it you want to talk I about? I like the video. Just to talk about the video for a okay. second. The video, the changing faces. That's yep. a technique that's starting yep. to pop off a lot. Even Kanye cool. used it in his recent video, kind of. But we want to say that Kanye was the first to do it. We want to say Tropical Storm was the first to do it 2011. 10 years, 10 yeah. years yeah. ago. 12. So, uh, Instagram yeah. in the span. We had Mike the miles moving. First. Yep. Had the miles Shut moving <laughs> with the pictures. <laughs> we were the Ray J's of that effect. So. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Kanye. Uh, but yes, the video was fire. You got slid into um, the industry first? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. No, we, we slid into the YouTube. In the miles <laughs> the <laughs> uh, what did you think about the song? I thought it's fire. Yeah, it's fire, fire, fire. Right? Sample, like, sample was great. Does yeah. it have repeat value? Yes, yes, yes. For here's the, the masses. Here's the thing. I don't know. For, 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 not, I don't yeah. know. Mm. Let's talk about Let general. Break it down go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. From, from my perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we all, if you a Kendrick fan, you know the heart part, you know, mm -hmm. series is he say play that. I don't know if it was an interview or, his, or in one of the songs, he say play that when he dies, read mm -hmm. it. Okay. So this is a whole series that you go back to once he passes. Mm -hmm. So it's always like thought provoking, but what he does best is evoke emotion. Mm -hmm. And like this man came back and said, fuck the culture. That whole, you know, the, the word and what mm -hmm. it means, like that's what's killing us too. Mm -hmm. right. We promoting the culture. So that was the first part. And then, you know, Switching to Will Smith. I said that 10 years Smith, ago. Will Smith, when he say hurt people, hurt people. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But it's the Nipsey part. The Nipsey part was mm -hmm. hard. And it's not only that. It's like, I don't know if this is meant to be, but he took out the drums before he started rapping with the Kobe and mm -hmm. the Nipsey face mm -hmm. and the hard breathing, which I took as like someone's dying. Well, you know he did that on purpose. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. That, yeah. I don't know if that's what he, what that was for, but that's what I interpreted as. Mm -hmm. And then. Him rapping from Nipsey's perspective, yeah, that's like true, that's no, that's crazy. come wow. on, that's yeah. wild. like it's almost like Nipsey was like, "Here, go ahead, do yeah, that. yeah, I got you." Yeah, well, you remember he said on Pimp a Butterfly, Tupac came to him in his dream, so yeah. I would feel like if he yeah. got that sent, why wouldn't I yeah. would? If I'm Nipsey, I would hit up to hey, what, how you got that? <laughs> Let me go there too, <laughs> give him this message. Mm, all right. Phenomenal. That's, that's not funny. How you got there? Oh, just go down. Oh, go it. It. <laughs> make a make a right. <laughs> Climb on the stage. <laughs> go, yeah. But yeah, no, it was yeah, it, it was phenomenal. Like. I don't even think when I was watching it yesterday, I couldn't even say nothing to the end. I was just so enthralled. I was like, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal song, phenomenal, um, phenomenal music video. And then he, if you, if you, from his perspective, he on the left side the whole time, mm -hmm. which is the side of the heart, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which could be another little thing. Like little details like that is what I love. Right, right. right. I heard he worked, art. I heard we work with uh, the South Park people to, to do this. What, really? Their, yeah, to you, they. I don't know if they didn't direct it, but I think they used yeah. their oh, special that's effects yeah. stuff that's because he's also doing a TV show with them. Apparently, oh nice. He's about to do a TV show with the South Park guys. Nice. A that's a beautiful. That's, the, that's beautiful. Yeah. I think those guys are genius. genius. Oh, for genius. sure. Yeah. They used to do that shit weekly. Weekly, yeah. weekly. <laughs> for like years. we used to do skits weekly, but they doing a whole animation. Yeah, yeah that's scripts. It's crazy. That's weekly. different. Um, Imagine if they had an episode now coming out <laughs> with everything that just happened well, last. Oh, week. last week, dude. That would yeah, that'd been crazy. But uh, Friday is gonna be crazy. Yeah, uh, that's when it drops. Right. Biggest wow. album of the year. Got well, thus far, that's so announced. Far, yeah. 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 Why do we have Drake? You said that's a Drake Kendrick and Drake. All right, so this dude was trolling Drake, <laughs> oh, and Drake was like, "All right." He said, um, "I just followed your girl because she oh. needs some excitement in her life." Right. Yeah. So then, buddy. The girl went to her thing. He actually followed her, mm -hmm. and then he DM'd her. And he like he really DM'd my wife. Mm -hmm. I like that's how you get back out of trouble. But, oh, but it goes to a lot of the stuff because the girl, when soon as Drake followed her, she put in the story with the eyes. Hello, champagne poppy. My wife don't even be doing it. Right. No, hold she, on. Hold on. Be doing so it. She put in the sto in her her story. Yeah, her story. Hello, Posted champagne. In her story. A. Hey. Look who the fuck is following me, and you can get this. The story goes deeper. You know this, right? Mm -mm. Oh, there was a whole article. Somebody found a Reddit, supposedly, right, where she's she's telling the story, mm -hmm. and she's talking talking about how uh her her man's mad at her now because he wants her to un like get rid of Drake as a block Drake or whatever, yeah. and yeah. she she doesn't want to do it. 
He said, I'm here and she's for like, you, Ma. I just, I've always been a fan <laughs> of Drake, and now he's acting weird in the car. What he's, you mean uh, he acting with this nigga DM? What you mean? No, it's saying that, like, her husband's acting weird. Every time he puts on, I put on his music now, he acts weird. Action got, like, got consequences. Actions got consequences. Don't stop trolling. Saying, I bet like, he won't troll yeah, no action, more. Bruh. Actions have consequences. You think you just think shit sweet out here. Bruh. But my wife is never going to play yeah, Drake's yeah, yeah, song that's ever again. Yeah. I, prob- I promise you. I promise you. I'll run this whole car off the goddamn road. But look, I'm a Drake fan. So if I did that and he did that to me, I can't be mad at him. I started this. I did this. No, no, I, so I, I can't be mad. Saying, but still. Find the team. But to DM him. my wife, because I said, you you right. Listen, hey, you on. can't be mad at how someone reacts. That's true. You troll him. That's true. That's him true. and Pusha T don't get along. But Pusha T's line, and um, just so you remember, mm-hmm. yeah. flew your bitch to Cuba for the thrill of yeah, it. Yeah, for the thrill of it. But I ain't go. Did. To show you what you, you should it. Mm. Leave these yeah, niggas with money alone. Yeah, leave them niggas with money alone. Leave them niggas with money alone. Yeah, 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 money yeah, alone. yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah Rome scream when we first. Listen, oh, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we that, that, First of all, that's, that's my, my favorite, favorite song. song. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at how much of a sucker this nigga is. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this interview and how much she belonged to the street. Hey, ghost Riders, what was behind that? Well, so for one, everyone knows or kind of thinks that Nick has Ghost Riders. Um, I'm a fan of Meek Mill, so. When Meek said it, I, I truly believed it. Um, this nigga looked like he is stressed. But for one, I honestly didn't think that comment would go anywhere. Um, once it did, it was just like, oh crap! Like, what, what, what did I do? So here we are now, though. He's not built. Do you think nothing. it was a little too built. far bringing in uh, Drake's kid, or nah? I mean, it's just trash talk. No, I think it was too far for him to bring in my wife. <laughs> Watch <laughs> what was, she says at the end. Trash of this. talk between two people, but like. I mean, he kind of crossed the line, but it's all love, man. He said, I mean, I just followed your girl because she's probably miserable and needs oh. some excitement in her life. Is that true? No. <laughs> I have so much fun in my life ever since I married this man. And no. You believe that? That's right. Any last message for Drake? I'm actually one of Drake's biggest fans. That's the crazy thing. You like, can't say I that. thought Certified Lover Boy was the, one of the top that. albums That's a lie. that has come out in the last Shut 10 up. years. No, and he's this is That's so. Hilarious to see. So but meet. shout out to Drake, man. Let's meet. Thank right? you. <laughs> let's meet. Let's meet. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, like, I would have turned. What the fuck you just what said you on TMZ? <laughs> But this almost feels like the Derek Jackson thing when you were sitting there like, "We, I love you, wife." She's yeah. like, "Yeah, we are. I'm so happy with him." <laughs> That's what she said. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so happy, hey, man. Leave leave people alone, man. Leave, stop, like the con- like actions have consequences. They do have Especially consequences. If your kingdom man is shaking. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. celebrities. <laughs> Listen, I Jay Z dropped a line that put me in my place, and he wasn't even trying to put me in my place. Yeah, but like, they do you know, all we time. all go, oh, B, if I ever had a chance with Beyonce, to, and it was like she's used to million dollar vacations. Fuck, fuck y'all going to do with that? that. And yeah. I was like, there's nothing I can <clears> do. No, with. but I said that's when you got to get creative because she got everything. Now you got to hit different po- pr- parts of emotions now because you know the excitement of the trips to South of France. Nah, like you got to get creative now. That's how you get her. And then what happens when she wants to go to the South of France after yeah, you got her? You use her money to pay for it. <laughs> you together now. That don't work, bro. That ain't gonna work. Account. Nah, I just you probably uh, got a never work. Account with her now. You use that money or you flip the fame that you get with dating her and to get some money. Like that I, ain't gonna work. I said <laughs> I'm out. That was that was my I was like, okay, I'm out. Yeah, That's cool. T I put me in my place in a lot. Oh yeah. What he said, what's the line? He was on the radio and he was like, he was talking. He said, I ain't no regular nigga. I don't drive no Honda while I'm in my house. <laughs> Look, drive. These rappers, they, they mess you up before you even get there. I remember when Drake in this song, he said, We only do a uh, private villas. We ain't doing resorts. I'm like, God damn, I just, I'm just, I like, I, you, can you, I go you to started the, in, the, in, in the regular. Let me, let me go right. to the resort, Drake. Right, like, 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 damn. I'm, I'm getting my shit together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it together still. Drake got a hard line in that Jack Carlo song. He said, I'm motivated by y'all financial. Yeah, Mike. Can you hear me? Yeah, I dropped your plug, again. plug, plug. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah. You hear me? Yep. Yeah. He said, "I'm motivated by y'all financial situation. Depending on how much you make and shit, how you should take it." So yeah, he's yeah. saying, if you make less than him, he motivated not to be like you. But if you make more than him, he motivated to get there. Yeah, that's. Basically, I said, "God damn." That's yeah. That's that's bar. <laughs> Shut bars. up, Drake. <laughs> bars. <laughs> But, uh, um and oh speaking on that uh so jack harlow's album came out and it's like it's huh you added the topic no no we, we took out the other uh we says we talking about we, horror movies we won't have time um but uh yeah a lot of people some people were uh 
I think it's fifty fifty down the middle. Some people was like this trash. Other people was like, nah, it's got some slaps on there. And I was like, it's interesting because I don't think people give like people don't listen to albums really. It's a one time through. If you don't if you don't say anything right. that I don't like, it's a rap for you. Cause sometimes you gotta listen to stuff. Like I feel like sometimes I gotta listen to stuff a couple times. And I listened to it the first time, I was like, I like I listened to it again, and I was like, not bad to me. Not a bad album, but I was already Jack Harlow fan. Like Jack Harlow. No, so it, it, so it's just me. And, I do not see the hype with him at all. I don't, he I might don't, be he might be overhyped, him. but I think he's I think, overhyped. I think he yeah. made good songs. I think maybe the public overhyped. I never overhyped. I just thought, oh, I heard some solid dude. Maybe I just some... don't get it. Like, what is the appeal with him? Is he? Is he it's not like from. The, I haven't heard a lot mm-hmm. of his songs, mm-hmm. but it's not like he's this phenomenal rapper, which you don't have to be mm-hmm. nowadays. Mm-hmm. No, he's better it, than most though. They try to. I heard some people try to make it like he's some sex symbol or like uh, some. What it is? He's like, charming. He's, he's just very a like yeah. you watch his interviews. The way he, like he he talked to the women and pros women. He's very charming. That's what people like about him. He's very that nigga look like your average Jewish boy to me. I don't know. <laughs> you remember Harris? You, yeah, that's what he looks like to me. Oh, okay, Harris. <laughs> you just gotta watch more. You'll get it. You'll get it. Like when I start watching his interviews, I'm like, all right. All right, how he approached, you know, he blew up when he approached, what's her name? Sweetie. Oh, Sweetie. Sweetie. Yeah. When he went on this British. I mean, he show. got me from What's Poppin', because that song go off. Yeah, I don't care what nobody, nobody, nobody say, that song go off. It's, I mean, it's, a, it's a cool song, song it's but it's song. just like, yeah. like, are people comparing him to, like, up here? Or is he just know, like, I don't know. why is he so big right now? Like, but that's the thing. It's like, he don't make none of these comparisons. It's just, he, people are doing, he like, he, he just, yeah. white. He just a white, the white, white thing. That's that, it's that a white makes rapper. the most sense to me. We haven't had a solid white rapper maybe in a while. Well, but I hear plenty of, little deep, I mean, but he, you know, well. He be comedy. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's always jokes. He do be rapping. He be rapping. There's so many of these white rappers that, like, come out and go. Just come and go. Like mm-hmm. there was one before him that was Paul from Wall? here. G Easy. Where is he? G-Eazy. No, he's still he's around. Still around? Uh, but I, he's, he probably working on Yeah, he probably yeah. working. I yeah. just feel like they're just like fabs. But it's a lot of fabs, it's a lot of regular fabs, fabs. It's a lot of re- like black artists that's fabs. <laughs> so I don't think there's not Of course, but there's a lot more of us, but it just seems like it's not I I don't know. It's it's hard to I mean point. you gonna have be a, a you could be a successful white rapper really fast. I think I mean yeah. still gotta have Rel- some type relatively. of relatively. Yeah, I think mm. you guys. Some. I don't know. Do, do you think Paul Wall has skill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, I think I mean, it's arguably he had the best verse on Still Tip. That's true. Arguably. Yeah. I mean, I think like G Easy <laughs> sounded to me like he like a tiger. So I'm like, it's not I mean, like a from, crazy I skills. I definitely. Whether you were out there, I'm just saying it's not like this <laughs> leap. You're yeah, acting yeah. like you leaping from Tiger all the way to G Easy. It's just like they right there. It's like what Jerry. what is so Tiger. Okay. <laughs> Tiger, tiger. Hello, hello, tiger. hello, hello, hello. We, hello, go. hello, we hello. gotta get into the XLR. But yeah, man. But yeah, no, it was just interesting because some people liked it, some people didn't. But I'm like, I gotta listen to it. Yeah. I don't have to listen to it. Well, so I'm probably I, not gonna. You don't have to. Listen it wasn't on my list of yeah, yeah. things I needed to do. <laughs> yeah. Possible ever. albums of the year? Right. No, it wasn't on that list. No, no, no. Right now, the best two albums of this year in rap for me is Vince Staples and Pusha T. Pusha T, I, I can't gotta, stop. Well, I, I don't know. We gotta Staples. get we gotta get Mike Dam on here to talk about Pusha T. I don't know if he he yeah, would agree with that. Not, it's too violent for him. <laughs> it's not for him. It's too violent. It's too violent. I love the flow, but Pusha T. Yeah. If I feel like you need to just sell coke, like you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta sell <laughs> yeah. white to really enjoy Pusher T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All like, cause all that's all he I talks mean, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. And Malice had the best line on that album to me. It was said, a lie. He said, "Vietnam flashbacks." Anytime oh. time I hear a sniff, I get triggered. <laughs> <laughs> That's, mm. that's, that's, if you ain't doing, you don't get it. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> and we we know when something's good. When me and Cam was riding and we was listening to the to that uh, Just to that joint, and he said that line, Cuba line, we screamed, we said, stopped yeah! it, and took it back. Yeah! Wasn't somebody else in the car? It was just me. <laughs> no, I could swear someone. No, because you walked in and called a manual. We, we, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. That that's crazy, that's when you know you got a line. Yeah, that, <laughs> that whole song he got, he's got lines yeah, all through that yeah, joint, like does. that joint. Yeah, he does. But all right, y'all. Uh, even, even on the neck and wrist. The, yeah, oh, yeah Colgate, uh, Colgate, Colgate Kilo. The hood needs need some, some white Yeah, come on, man, stop it. Y'all niggas ain't about that drugs. <laughs> Sell like, drugs, kids. y'all like little pump. <laughs> y'all like little I mean, I just pump. think like as an artist, it's kind of like you know that's his. 
it, to compare him, Andy Warhol, that's that's his that's Campbell his, suit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cocaine is this Campbell yeah, suit. Right, right, right. Okay, he, he addressed that on the Drink Champs. He was just on oh, Drink yeah. Champs. He okay. said, I know my lane. Yeah. I just stay in my lane. I just stay in my lane. I can't be mad at the man sticking his lane. I'm with it. You do what you got to do. All right, y'all. Well, uh, we will see y'all next week. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. We who knows? Maybe Marvin to just come back. Maybe I mean, Marvin is the, is the fourth uh, podcast. But I mean, <laughs> honestly, I expect something crazy to happen this week. Every time Listen. Marvin show up, the following week is gonna be crazy. Listen, like President Biden, if your plane goes down, my bad. <laughs> but I will be back. <laughs> 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 no, um, said, well, I've been waiting years to get on here. I said, All right, Romello, I'll talk to the guy. <laughs> Romello, you could have been on here. <laughs> what are you talking about? You ain't gonna show up. <laughs> I'm about to say, Y'all gonna say 11, he gonna get here at 12 30. Yeah, and we here hilarious. for the pod, right? Marvin only expects me to show up. <laughs> Yo, we almost had 20,000 subscribers 20, 000, on this channel. Y'all. Keep following. So, y'all subscribe, like all that stuff. Make sure y'all get up in there. Uh, and uh, all right, man. Uh, at 20,000, I'll do a full. Uh, special no no uh, uh, a special like a nude make sure y'all stay at 19 uh, 19,999 right so we don't have to deal with that. And, and if, <laughs> immediately and, jump to 20,001 <laughs> right and if you are the 20th thousand come follow me <laughs> at the coolest nerd you've ever met podcast um, there you go promote your shit yeah um we talk nerds mcu we got a doctor strange review coming we got um can i come got, on that we I gotta talk to... about that we can talk about it off air but we'll, yeah. we'll talk about it yeah um, yeah, I need to get you with the podcast I did because it's all about anime and all that nerd, oh, like, nerd yeah. Shit. So yeah. It, it's a black nerd podcast. Come check us out, coolest nerd you've ever met podcast. There nice. you go, nice. All right, y'all. Until Instagram. next week. Oh, um, Marvin Tope. He said they should know about that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> Finish the last episode. <laughs> this one. Shit. Uh, no, Marvin Tope at Marvin Tope on Instagram and also coolest nerd you've ever met podcast. Yep, I got the merch on too. There uh, go. Yeah. All right. Uh, on behalf of Emmanuel, myself, Cam, and Mexican Mike Mendez mixing on the Monday. Yup. We out. See y'all next week. Peace. Peace. It's never my fault. <laughs> <laughs>